Hello children, welcome to another episode of Fowler Behind the Wheel. We are officially done with orientation day number two. It's official. <clears throat> well, it's beneficial, but we are done with orientation. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we gotta, well by the time y'all see this, uh, or at least most of you, um, today, uh, we got to do a few little things. We still got to get our fuel cards. Um, I think we got to talk to a few more people, but I mean, tomorrow is just going to be like that. Um, today was another very, very chill day at GP Transco for orientation. I mean, hands down, this has been the best orientation I've ever had. I mean, it, it, it doesn't get no more laid back than orientation at GP Transco. <clears throat> um, today pretty much went by like yesterday did. And um, we got we got just about everything done today. I mean, it, what we were doing, it was just bam, bam, bam. We didn't sit and watch a ton of of boring safety videos or orientation videos whatever that last like an hour long that you got to force yourself to stay awake through i mean stuff like that it just gets redundant you know they, a lot of those safety videos were made back in like the 70s 80s 90s maybe early 2000s and you I hate going to a company that's got stuff like that because it's it's just redundant. You know, a lot of it's common sense. Um, I understand why they make you watch it though, but you know, I would at least if it was me and it was my company, I would update those videos to make them you know more engaging to keep your attention, keep you focused, keep you awake. But here at GP Transco, it it was we went through like slideshow presentations, and I mean they just knocked them out. I mean we just bam, bam, bam. It was it was great. I loved it. Um, uh, after orientation, you know, I, uh, I got me a courtesy car. And the, how the courtesy cars work is pretty cool, too. So, like, they got four cars. Two are pet-friendly, two are not friendly, or not pet-friendly. Uh, so, two pet-friendly, two non-pet-friendly cars. And you get to, um, like, you sign your name on this uh, Apple tablet or whatever. And... Uh, you you choose which car you're going to take. You you choose the amount of time you stay out, like uh, up to an hour, um, more than an hour, and two hours or more. If you're going to be out for two hours or more, then it, then you got to like get it approved. But I mean, if you want to come here and do like a 34, or you know, if you're in orientation or whatever. Um, you go sign a car out and take the key that corresponds with it. Go get in the car and go do whatever you got to do. Go out and, you know, eat you a good meal at a restaurant. Uh, go to a Walmart. You know, whatever you got to do, a car is there for you to do it. I mean, it's it's it's, it's simple. Like, at other companies, you got to go to, like, the shop or whatever and request a car if they got them. And... You know, sometimes you got to put up with, you know, asshole shop guys or whatever. But here, you, it's a stationary tablet, and you just, bam, 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 go, come back, done. You, you sign it out, you don't really just sign it back in, you just hang the key up on the hook, and you're done. I mean, it's great. Uh, I went to Walmart, uh, stocked the truck up with a few things. Um, I don't have my uh, cooking utensils in the truck, so... Um, when I get home, I'm going to get those, and then I can stop, stock the fridge up. 
with excuse me <clears throat> with some uh, some fresh food and I can start cooking back on the truck which is awesome the truck's got a 1500 watt inverter in it uh, it's powering a uh, dorm room size refrigerator I showed y'all that in the last video it's awesome I love it I love having that big refrigerator in here um, today the shop got my CB radio installed um, I already had the radio uh, I've, for some reason left my mic at the house uh, but I brought the CB and I bought I brought the uh, the power cord that goes with it um, the shop will install the power cord for you and they don't really need to like place the radio in its spot but I mean they did so that's pretty cool um, they also gave me uh, an extra extension cord to reach the microwave so that's pretty cool eventually what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to switch that microwave out for a uh, uh, what do you call it an air fryer convection microwave combo unit so I'm gonna get rid of that and put the, uh, the other in here and that's gonna basically cook most of my meals um, so I won't really need a lot of my cooking utensils because when I get that combo uh, microwave it's just gonna pretty much do everything um, it's basically like having an oven and a stove and a fryer and all that stuff in your truck. So, I mean, you can pretty much do anything with it. It's, it's going to be a great addition when I get one. Um, I will say that one thing that does bother me, uh, uh, it's nothing major, but the mattresses. Now, the mattresses at USA Truck, I swear, I've sh you, you can go back and look in my previous videos. Um, they literally look like little pre-K mats that a, a, a pre-kindergartner would get for nap time. I mean, they're, they're like that thick. It's a, it's a blue mat, and it's, it's stupid. I don't understand why any trucking company would give a driver something so ridiculous as a mat to sleep on, you know. So, I mean... Y'all have seen the other videos of how I feel about USA Truck. So, let that speak for itself. Now, GP Transco actually has more of a legit mattress. Um, now, when USA Truck gave me a mattress, it was rolled up in plastic. Um, these were the same. They were rolled up in plastic, but it's a, it's a spring mattress. Uh, it's more of a mattress than what USA... Um, gave it is not a factory mattress from Freightliner um, now when you get a truck from a company uh, like after you do orientation they basically need to give you or they're supposed to give you a new mattress um, you don't want to sleep on somebody's used mattress doing God knows what on it and uh, have to like put your bed sheets uh, for your truck in there and all that stuff. I mean, that's just gross. Um, so, trucking companies are supposed to give you a new mattress when you get into a truck. Um, so, I haven't had a problem with any trucking company giving me a mattress or a new fresh mattress. Um, but I will say the mattress that GP Transco gives. Um, it's more of it's more of a mattress than what USA gives. It is a spring mattress, but I'll, I'm gonna say thank God I brought that memory foam um, top uh, with me over here. Uh, for one, it's expensive, but two, that memory foam uh, makes it a hell of a lot better. Um, I don't really have a way to really show y'all right now. Uh, I should have I should have videotaped it and recorded it uh, earlier when I got in the truck for the first time. But as y'all saw in the last video, I was brain dead. I was just ready to get in here and just knock out for a bit. But it's not terrible. But 
you know, it, it would be great if it was more of a legit mattress. Um, but that's, that's their deal. Um, a buddy of mine that's still over at USA Truck, he's actually getting his brand new Volvo for, from SFI uh, pretty soon. So uh, congratulations to Hunter on getting your truck, you bastard. Um, he's going to get a Volvo VNL 860. It's super nice. He's going to have the uh, dinette um, bottom bunk, dinette sleeper bunk thing. Um, which I'm kind of jealous over because I've been in an 860 that had that and it's awesome. Um, Freightliner is also starting to do that now with their trucks. Uh, I don't know if the 2022 models that GB Transco has has them or not. I want to say that I did a 3D tour on a GP Transco truck off their website and I could almost swear that, um, they had them in their truck, but it may have been another company that I was possibly thinking about going to, but I mean, it's just a feature. It's nothing that I'm, you know, upset over. Uh, I'm more than happy to have, you know, a full size bed. So <clears throat> whether I have it or not, it's, it really doesn't matter. But, uh, the mattress part would be, it would be nice to have a legit mattress, but uh, Hunter also uh, sent me a uh, Amazon link to the mattress that he has in his truck now. That's a 12-inch memory foam mattress. It's like 200 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna end up saving up some money, and I'm gonna get me uh, one of those to put in here, and uh, I'm gonna keep that um, just because I like the added comfort of what a, a bed is supposed to feel like. But, um, so far, that's the only thing I can really complain about. Uh, even the guys that work in the shop are not assholes. I haven't had, I haven't gotten a bad vibe from anybody at the service desk or the, the or the mechanics that are actually in the shop. And when you got a shop that looks as nice as theirs, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a, a, an ornery bastard either. So... GP Transco is doing something right here. Um, I haven't really met one ornery, mean person yet. Um, everybody here has been great. Um, any qu There's no such thing as a stupid question. And I feel like GP Transco is on board with that because I haven't had any problem getting an answer to any of the questions that I've had. Um, no matter how greenhorn they sound or um, whatever. So, so far, my experience through orientation has been an A+. Plus. I mean, it's just been great. Um, like I said, orientation has been so laid back. So, the trucks, or at least my truck, it's, it's really nice. Um, there was a bit of a weird smell in it. But it's, it's gone away now. I'm, I'm thinking that that may have been like a, a cleaning chemical that they use. Um, I don't know if GB Transco cleans the truck or if they like hire that service out to a third party and they come in and clean the trucks uh, for orientation people. But that's what I'm thinking it was because, you know, as y'all see, I'm a smoker and, you know, I... A smoker can't really tell if another smoker has really been in another vehicle or not. I mean, you might, but my nose don't really work anyway. So, I could identify that smell, but it didn't smell like a smoker smell. It didn't really smell like a pet smell. So, I basically um, ruled it out to just be like a cleaning product. And it's faded. Um... It was pretty much gone by the time I went to bed last night. And, uh, you know, I got some air sprayer stuff that's made it smell even better in here. So, I'm, I'm thinking about getting some of those um, Febreze air vent clip things to put in here. Just to keep it smelling extra good. But, the truck has been, it's, it's clean. Um, 
it runs pretty good and I haven't taken it out on the road or anything yet but um, as every so far everything on it works as it's supposed to so far um, now y'all seen in my past videos the truck that uh, USA originally gave me was a piece of crap and wouldn't run right most of the time something was always wrong with it um, but this truck isn't off the idle it's got the um, battery extra battery bank for the EPU uh, electronic power unit um, as you you might be able to hear it uh, right now as you listen to this but there is air running in the bed or in the sleeper berth and um, that that air even though the truck ain't running that air is cold and it gets hot so I can put it on any temperature I want to I can get a I can finally get a great night's sleep because I have air and heat that work off of the same dial and it doesn't seem like there is um, a bunk heater in here no there's not a bunk heater there's no bunk heater under the under the sleeper berth everything runs off of the EPU and it works it freaking works um, I slept comfortable last night finally um, I didn't really get the best night's sleep last night, but that's only because, you know, it's a whole new environment. I'm excited. It's a, it's a whole new fresh start. Um, so I'm definitely going to knock out tonight and I'm going to sleep really good. Uh, we're going to get back up tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning and we are going to finish up the, you know, the little details that we need to get finished up. Now, we might get out on the road tomorrow um any of y'all who know how to keep up with the weather around the country um like wyoming colorado probably north dakota south dakota all of those like western states they've had 100 mile an hour wind gusts and we're feeling it over here in uh joliet joliet juliet i don't know uh, Joliet, Illinois. We are feeling it. Um, my truck is severely rocking. I mean, it's... The wind gusts out here are kicking. Um, I've seen signs blown over because of the wind gusts uh, on my way to Walmart and back. It's, it's crazy. Um, it's raining a little bit, but the winds are definitely kicking. So, from what I've been told is that tomorrow, or today as you're watching this, we're supposed to, from what I've heard, we're supposed to get like 60 mile an hour wind gusts. If that turns out to be true and the winds are, <coughs> and the winds are too much uh, to drive, uh, drive safely, drively, <coughs> drive safely, then uh, GB Transco is going to um, hold off on us leaving out tomorrow, which is fine. Uh, I believe that does constitute a layover pay because it's a, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a safety hazard due to weather conditions. It's not anything that's in our control. So that I, I, I do believe that constitutes a layover pay, which is $150. So, I mean, it, it ain't it ain't no big check, but you know, it's something for nothing. You know, <clears throat> can't complain about that at all. Um, I wish that I could remember everything that uh, we went over uh, today and day two of orientation. Um, I got notes. I'll try and <clears throat> I'll try and. Uh, compile a video of uh, many different things that we went over, but I can tell you this, uh, they did say that uh, when the night shift is 
getting ready to transfer over into the day shift, the uh, the people that are there during the night will go in and start looking at the weather, and it'll kind of flow into the uh, the daytime shift coming in. And they look at the weather all around the country, and then they look at um, where the trucks are, and depending on where you're at if you're in like a severe weather area they'll like send out notifications to you to let you know so as a truck driver you should already be uh looking at the weather as part of your trip plan <clears throat> so every morning when you get up or every night you know depending on when you drive you you need to plan your day accordingly and go ahead and get a general idea of where you want to end up and you know how your routes looking um, and you should also be looking at the weather that is on your route what are, what are you going to be driving into and this can save you you can uh, possibly reroute yourself around you know a bad uh, weather condition and that'll still keep you moving towards your destination um, but GP Transco is kind of like a secondary backup because as you're supposed to be looking they are looking and they'll let you know if there's anything that you really need to be concerned about um, so I, I thought that was really cool so one thing that I've picked up in orientation here at GP Transco is that they care about the drivers. Um, one thing that's really cool is is that GP Transco created their own app because, as they said in orientation, they couldn't. Everything they found was, you know, it was not up to their standard of what they wanted. So they use an app called uh, Open Road TMS or something like that. Uh, I think TMS stands for truck management system or something but uh, that's how you get your load um, the way that the load works is really cool so you'll get a load you accept the load and you get you're not routed zip code to zip code you are routed from the address of pickup to the address of delivery so you are paid for all of those miles um, they don't really have a navigation uh, system. Uh, they did ask me before I came to Oregon, do you have truck navigation? So I have a Garmin Diesel uh, something. I don't even remember what its full model name is. But I do have a trucker's GPS. <clears throat> I will say if you do not have a trucker's GPS, go to truckrouter.com. Um it is free to sign up over there. It is strictly truck routes. Um, you can put in all kinds of configurations, uh, your height, width, weight, length, um, where you're going, uh, any stops along the route, you just put them in there on, on the website. You can use it on your phone. It's not extremely mobile friendly, but you can use it. Um, and it's, it's not a GPS. It just shows you the route that you need to follow. You know, if you don't have a trucker's GPS, but you got a uh, you got one of these right here, you know, a road atlas. Everybody needs to have a road atlas. Um, so, like, whenever, if you go on there and um, you put in your destination... Uh, where you want to go to your fuel stop and where uh, where you're picking up where you're going you know all, all that stuff put in your weights your length height width you know everything is it a hazmat load is it not is it doubles is it triples is it a tanker blah 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 whatever put in all that stuff it'll show you a strict truck route based on either fastest time shortest route you know stuff like that truckrouter.com uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, there's been times where I've used it. Um, you know, 
everybody that has a brain will tell you, do not give your life or put your life in a GPS GPS's hands. Uh, Google Maps is a good reference source, but Google Maps is not truck routing. It's sometimes it's barely even car routing. Um, but Google Maps does has its place. Um, use Google Maps. Use your road atlas. Double check stuff on here. Uh, use your trucker's GPS if you got it, but you can't always believe everything it says. You know, double trip planning. Plan your trip. You know, make sure where you're going and how you get there is how you're supposed to get there. Um, there's been times where a trucker's GPS has took me through a, um, a, a place that I, I wasn't supposed to be in. I can't even think of the word right now, but uh, it, was, it was a housing uh, neighborhood or whatever. Anyway, so like, go on truckrouter.com, put in everything, see the route that it tells you to take, depending on which, however you want to get there, and reference it on your atlas, you know, get, get you a notebook write down the uh, interstates and you know where you're supposed to be as uh, street names you know all that stuff reference it on your road atlas find out where you need to be going follow it and truckrouter.com it's freaking awesome y'all so uh, use everything at your disposal to do the best job that you can. And for God's sake, get you a, G a CB radio. You don't have to talk on it. You can be like I did and forget the mic and, you know, not talk on it. But hell, flip that thing on, put it on whatever channel you need it to be on, and use, listen for updates. You know, stuff comes off that CB radio that can really help you. And um, you can take the information that comes off of that and plan around it like if you're coming up on a traffic jam and it's a parking lot find you the nearest exit and find a route that'll take you around it and get back on the interstate <clears throat> but anyway I'm rambling um, another cool thing about GB Transco now I don't know if I said it or not, but uh, you do not have to opt in for the inward facing camera, but the inward facing camera, maybe the outer outward facing camera also, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that the inward facing camera does not come on, they cannot access it, so they say. Uh, unless a critical event happens, like a hard break or, you know, a sudden jerk in the steering wheel or, you know, whatever. And then it's going to record for, you know, however many seconds that it's going to record. It does not record sound, um, but they did show us videos and orientation of, you know, a few videos off of that. Um, they did show us videos where people opted out of the inward facing camera. And it's just everything outside. But um, these guys aren't stupid. If you're not driving right and they catch it on the camera, they can pretty much guess um, what's going on. They, they can't pinpoint exactly what's going on. But your attention is not here. It's somewhere else. And they can tell that. And, you know, they're not stupid. Um, it really doesn't take a genius to know if, if you're not paying attention to the road. You as a truck driver see it every day out on the road with these four wheelers. So they're going to see it with you if they can't see at you. But anyway, so it doesn't record sound. Uh, I originally was going to opt out of it. Uh, if you opt out of it, it's 58 cent a mile. If you opt in for it, it's 60 cent a mile. Those are the two base pays that you start out with, um, depending on your preference, at GB Transco. 
the cool thing is uh, you get a raise or you have the potential to get a raise every six months so I think that's pretty awesome you have to meet you know criteria um, obviously but the criteria it's one of those things that I uh, um, I might have to get back to another video on uh, compile a list of things to go over um, but <clears throat> the the things that you got to do to be able to get that raise every six months it's it, it seems to be very doable um, it's a penny a raise every six months with no cap no cap as long as you're doing a good job, they're going to imburse you for your good job. And that penny a mile, so if I've driven six months and I'm eligible and I am and I get that penny a mile raise, they apply that penny a mile raise to every mile I drove for the past six months. Um, that's pretty cool. At least I think that's what they said. Like I said, I got to get back to you, but... As for right now, don't quote me, uh, don't strictly quote me, but I believe uh, you get that uh, one cent a mile raise after six months, they apply that penny a mile for the past six months, and you get paid an extra penny a mile for all those miles driven. So that's pretty damn cool. That, that might as well just be a savings account. So you, you get that penny, and then you get that 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 money, uh, and there's no cap. You, if you stay here long enough, and you you get those uh, penny a mile raises, and if you're starting out with sixty cent a mile, I opted in for the inward facing camera. I'm I'm starting out with sixty cent a mile. Um, if I can get those uh, pennies every six months, I mean. What is it? Two cent a year? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Five years? That's 70 cent a mile. I'm, I'm going to get paid 70 cent a mile after five years if I can get that penny every six months. I mean, where else you going to go and make that kind of money? And that's not even including accessorial pay. So 70 cent a mile after five years getting that that uh penny a mile then adding on your accessorial pay i mean you might as well be making 80 cent a mile i mean that's damn money 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 i mean it sounds great um trying to think of some other stuff that i wanted to let y'all know about uh, oh, fuel. Um, now, if you need to get emergency fuel, you can pretty much stop anywhere to get it if you really, really need it. But they don't tell you where to get fuel here. They are in the Pilot Flying J network. That's where they want you to get fuel at. And you get it whenever you need it. Um... You don't have to call them and be like, "Hey, I need uh, I need some fuel." Just go in and get it. When you get the fuel, you always, for the most part, fill the tanks all the way up. They uh, they have all these like calculations for stuff, and everything's based off of the tanks being filled all the way up according to their system it's going to automatically think the tanks were filled up uh so that's pretty much it um don't do like what happened with me at usa truck and run the truck out of fuel um because usa truck doesn't know how to do fuel planning so if i need fuel whenever i need it i take the truck to a pilot or flying J and I put as much fuel as tanks will, will hold into them. Um, now, it is important 
because they're not telling you how much to get, where to get it, nothing. It is important to know your weights. So, if you got a really heavy load and you can't fill up the tanks, you know, all the way because it's going to put you, you know, illegal uh, an illegal weight, don't do that. Um, Dirt Road Salvation YouTube channel has a video that discusses the weight of diesel and how to uh, figure out how much you need based on how much you weigh, based on how far you need to go. Um, he's another buddy of mine. Uh, that video is very informative. Um, I'll try and link it down in the description for you. Um, these are things that you need to know. He is a lease operator, so these are things that he puts into practice every day. Uh, if you, if you, <laughs> if you're only able to uh, put, you know, a half a tank of fuel in in the tanks, and then that's that's what you got to do to stay legal. You're gonna fill up more often, but that's trucking. Um, it's not like being in a car and just being able to go fill up the fuel tank all the way to full full when you need it. So. These are things that you're going to have to think about when you come over here at GP Transco. I personally have never done that, but it's not that hard to figure out. Uh, you just got to get into the routine of doing it. it. Like I said, it's important to know your weights. Um, when um, I would assume you would probably want as much on the trailer as legally possible. That way um, you have more room to put more weight on the drive and steer axles so that would probably give you uh, the ability to haul more or put more fuel in the fuel tanks uh, that's just my theory um, if you got questions about it go to uh, Dirt Road Salvation's YouTube channel and look at that video uh, like I said I'll try and link it down in the description for you um, <clears throat> You know, ask him about that. He'll he'll know. He he does that stuff all the time. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. They are not gonna hound you about fuel. Just get it when you need it. And that was that was one cool thing that I really really loved about Central Oregon Truck Company when I was flatbedding over there. That company, by the way, is freaking awesome. If you want to go do flatbed, heavy haul, uh, any any of that other stuff. They got kind of stoges. Go hit up Central Oregon Truck Company. Ask for the uh, recruiter named Brandon. Um, I can't even remember what that driver coach's name is off the top of my head right now. I want to say Andy, but it's not. Uh, Randy? Andy? I don't know. It's not that name. But he's a driver coach, and he's freaking awesome. Uh, Brandon, the recruiter over there, was awesome. If you want to go do flatbedding, go over there and go do flatbedding. I made so much money over there, it wasn't even funny. I just, I, flatbedding ain't for me. Those of y'all truckers out there that are flatbedders, my hat's off to you. Because y'all, y'all bastards are, are the real deal. <clears throat> I'm just a box puller. <laughs> but I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't do cold weather. I ain't trying to be out there screwing around with a tarp that's frozen. Y'all can have it. I got the utmost respect for you. Thank you for what you do. Um, you guys, y'all y'all are the real uh, asphalt warriors out there. My hat's off to you. But if you want to do dry van, we're going to see how this company is. And, you know, I'm going to give my honest opinion about it. Um, so, yeah, the, how the fuel works is awesome. And I wanted to let y'all know real quick. I know in my last video... Um, I said um, that they have Freightliners and Kenworth VNL 760s here. Kenworth don't make VNL 760s. Um, that is a Volvo truck. They have Freightliners and Volvos here. Um, I was so tired that I couldn't even think. I was so brain dead. And um, I'm so used to the Kenworth T680 that I was with at USA Truck. It's just they just merged and 
you know, out of that, you got a Kenworth VNL 760. So do with that what you will. But GP Transco has Freightliner Cascadias and Kenworth VNL 760s. I don't know what the 760s look like completely on the inside. I did do my driving test in the VNL 760. It looked pretty cool. Um, the, the cockpit area was nice, uh, but I'm pretty sure that truck don't really go out much. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it might be the orientation guy's truck. I don't know. But I'm happy with this uh, this Freightliner. Um, I still got to get a uh, mount installed in here for the, uh, the tablet. Uh, looks like uh, they took the mount off or something. I don't know. But I'm going to get with them tomorrow about it. Is there anything else that I can remember? They, we kind of, like I said, we went over, you know, a good bit of stuff today, but we just knocked it out. And, uh, like, like I said, I didn't sleep very good last night. <sighs> so, most of it today, I was kind of in and out, brain dead wise with it. So, I will, I will try and do a, a, a video, uh, about, you know, a good bit of the stuff that we went over in, uh, orientation but so far I mean everything here sounds very very impressive they also do use the uh, Paylocity app if you want time off or to look at your pay stubs or any stuff like that uh, you go on Paylocity and put that through um, on the open road app uh, you also have a um, it's a directory with everybody's direct phone number in it that you would ever need to get in contact with. So that's pretty cool to have anybody and everybody right there at my fingertips. Um, um, they also have a statistical part of that app where um, you can see your weekly and annual miles and pay. Um, so you can keep up with all of that stuff. It's all right there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, it'll show you uh, this week and last week. So I really, really like that. You can keep up with, you know, the, the important stuff. Um, is there anything else that I can think of? You know, they do offer insurance here. The, the, the prices for their insurance seem really, really, really good. Um, I believe he said that every year they get with, like, insurance brokers and try and find the best deal, basically the best bang for your buck. Um, they have Blue Cross and Blue Shield here, and, and that's pretty cool. If you sign up for um, medical benefits, they will pay for dental and vision. If you do not opt in for health insurance, they will not pay for health or uh, dental and vision insurance, uh, which is fine. I don't, I don't do health insurance. You know, I'd rather have more money in my pocket. I'm, I'm that kind of person. Uh, I'll be 30 in January. I'm not I'm not extremely worried about my health as a truck driver My health is of a concern to me. You know, I've, I put on I've never been 200 pounds in my life until I became a truck driver So I have put on quite a bit of weight um, I'm steadily working on a B cup right now So that's pretty good. I guess so um, that's another reason why I like to cook in my truck. I want to be able to cook healthier meals than, you know, what the truck stops offer. So, at being at 30, I'm not extremely worried about my health as if I was, like, you know, in my 50s or 60s and still doing this. Um, at a later point in time, it would be more beneficial to me. But as of right now, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, yeah, health insurance is one of those things that it's nice to have when you need it, but I'm not going to shell out all that money when I don't need it. And as truck drivers, 
you know, those of us that are real truck drivers and we're not trying to be home every weekend, um, it can be a hassle to get to, um, to go see a doctor, um, and do like regular checkups. So it's, it's not anything that I'm worried about. I want to eat a healthier diet that's going to make me healthier. Uh, so that's my main focus is to just eat better. Um, I am going to try and work on getting on a keto diet. Um, I want to get to the point where carbs and sugar are completely out of my diet. I, like I said, y'all, I, I drink a lot of water when I'm out on the road. I try and stay away from soda as much as possible if I can help it. But keto diet is not one of those, you know, California bullshit diets. Keto is just getting rid of carbs or lowering your carb intake extremely and doing away with sugar. Um, you don't have to count carbs or count calories or whatever. You just want to take in more protein than your carbs. Uh, you can have a little bit of carbs, but basically what keto is, uh, America is on a carbohydrate diet. You know, breads and sugars and all that crap that's why america is number one in obesity because the uh food uh, food health and drug administration the fda is lying to us um basically when you take in carbs it turns into fat and it gets stored because you're taking in so much that your body doesn't need and it stores it for later um, this is why people fast because fasting will, when your body runs out of the um, own hand carbs to fuel your body, to, that, that basically gets you through the day, it goes to your fat storage and it starts eating that fat. Your fat is your secondary fuel intake. Um, when you switch to keto, it's, like, it's more like a carnivore diet. It's a high protein diet. And I love pork chops and bacon and steaks and hamburgers you can have those things on this diet and that's what i mainly eat i love having my protein so you can also do fish but the, the keto keto the key to keto is fat you want to take in a high fat diet uh, it doesn't matter what the fat is fat is fat you want to take in fat you want to lower your intake of carbs so <clears throat> That's why the convection oven and air fryer and, and that combo microwave thing, that's why I want that. So, you take in a high fat protein diet and it converts your body in ketosis and it converts your body to burn fat instead of carbs because you your carb, carb intake went from here to here and your fat intake went from here to here so now your body's like well, we got more fat than carbs we switch over our, our fuel intake to uh fat and it literally just eats all the fat off your body that's why keto is so such a huge success um that's what i want to get into i want to get all this weight off of me my knees hurt i want to want my knees to stop hurting my legs and my feet uh, I just want to feel better. So that's why I'm a big proponent of having a refrigerator in your truck and cooking in your truck. Cook a better meal. You know, stay away from McDonald's and Wendy's and all that stuff. Um, it's just that simple. Um, but here I am rambling again. GP Transco so far is great. Um, I've loved every minute of it so far. Um, the only thing that I hate really about it is the mattress. But it's more of a mattress than what USA gave me, believe that. Um, if that's all you had, now it's just my preference, you know. For me, I don't like it. I want a thicker um, mattress, preferably, you know, a foam mattress, not a spring mattress that I'm going to feel the springs in. I feel these springs. Um, that would that would be my... my um, of my, the, my feedback to uh, GP Transco, you know, you know do, do better on your mattress, but I have 
I'm lucky enough to have this memory foam topper um, that's doing great for me uh, for right now until I get that uh, 12 inch memory foam mattress off Amazon so that and the fact that it's based in Illinois I mean it's so damn cold up here it's not terribly cold out here right now but I know it gets cold up here and um, you know that's where they wanted to put it and that's where I came so that everything I say is my preference and my my uh, perspective um, but so far GP Transco is where it's at right now um, two days of orientation the most laid back orientation I've ever been through uh, it's been a great experience so far everybody's been super nice um, the benefits package for the drivers um, whether it be health benefits pay you know accessorial pay you know everything everything's been awesome um, I'm just getting to the point where I'm getting brain dead again I want to make me something to eat uh, it's been a while since I had something to eat today so I'm just oh I'm ready to wind down my hair looks crazy I got hat hair. Yeah, I know, and I need to shave it. I'm, I'm thinking about growing it out. Got that nice bald spot, rocking the bald spot. But <clears throat> y'all, yeah, it, 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 it makes me feel so much better that there's a company out there that actually gives a damn. And it, as of right now, it seems like GP Transco gives a damn. There's a guy in our orientation class. His son's been driving here for a year already. I've, uh, I've talked to him just a little bit. But he's happy here. And with everything they've given you and offering, uh, you have no reason not to be, as from what I'm seeing so far. I'm going to try tomorrow and, you know, do a, a bit of a, a video uh, to show the inside of the... Uh, the headquarters up here for you a little bit um yeah as of right now guys i'm that's pretty much it for today i'm gonna jump off here i'm gonna get me something to eat <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then i'm gonna go to bed get up and see what tomorrow's got in store for me so uh i'm officially done with orientation ready to go um, so children, y'all have a good night. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, those of you who have subscribed thus far, I appreciate it. I hope that my videos, um, are, you know, at least entertaining to you, but I hope that they're informative. Um, everything on this channel is from my perspective. Nothing in any of this is anything that is going to happen to you um you might have a different experience than me and i'm definitely going to have a different experience than you um it's all about how you carry yourself how your attitude is um and how you how you do things so everything here is based off of my perspective and i hope that i'm able to give y'all something that uh you can base some kind of an opinion on uh, always do your own research. Make sure it's as thorough as it can be. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going uh, to give me something to eat, and then I'm going to bed. Y'all have a good night. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you got questions, put them down there in the comments. Um, if there's anything that you think I can improve on for your uh, for your benefit, you know, let me know. Um, but other than that, guys, i see you on the next one.